Support for legalizing recreational marijuana in Florida is growing, but will it be enough to make it on the ballot in 2022? Several organizations are working hard to make sure. As Fox 13's Jordan Bowen reports, new proposed legislation to end the federal prohibition on marijuana could sway support. As of July 1st, 2021, recreational marijuana is now legal in at least 18 states, including Washington, D.C. and Guam. By 2022, several grassroots organizations are hoping Florida will join that list. You can walk into any Walgreens and get an aspirin without a doctor's recommendation. Uh, you know, cannabis advocates feel as though adults 21 and older who are responsible cannabis users uh, should be able to utilize cannabis. A recent poll shows 59% of Floridians support the legalization of recreational marijuana compared to 31% who oppose it. That's according to public policy polling, who surveyed 590 Florida voters back in March. Why is there this disconnect between public policy and what people want? And it really does boil down to uh, the other forces at work that our representative government uh, has at play. As Chris Kano with Normal Suncoast Chapter explains, it comes down to money. His group, the National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws, or Normal, has been working for years to get recreational marijuana legalized in Florida. Advocates came close but fell short earlier this year. In April and in June, the Florida Supreme Court struck down two different ballot initiatives to legalize recreational marijuana, calling the summaries for both initiatives misleading. Now, organizations are holding out hope federal legislation could sway support in their favor. A new bill set to be introduced by Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer later this year would remove marijuana from the list of federally controlled substances, essentially treating marijuana like tobacco and alcohol. That takes away that excuse and that crutch of local and state politicians are saying, well, it's still illegal federally. So, you know, once that's out of the way, then what's their excuse to, to deny their constituency uh, this public policy position, which so many people uh, deem as right? Reporting in Tampa, Jordan Bowen, Fox 13 News.